Hey friends, today is my last day in California. My vacation is coming to an end and I'm a little sad about it, but I do want to spend my last day inside Disneyland, riding my favorite rides and eating some of my favorite food and just really embracing what I love about Disneyland. Anywho, let's go do this. I do have to say though my vacation has been absolutely amazing really a dream vacation and I'm so happy that I got the opportunity to come out here and enjoy the original Disney Park in fact I loved it out here so much that I decided on getting myself a magic key pass so we will definitely be coming back out to Disneyland sometime within the next year and I can't believe that I have a pass now for Disneyland and Disney World coast to coast I never thought in a million years that I would be doing something like this and it, it is just so amazing literally like I said a dream come true for me one of the things I didn't get to do on this trip yet is ride the Disneyland Railroad because right now the railroad isn't running in Walt Disney World. So I think we're going to start off our day by going on a scenic trip around Disneyland. I can't wait to get back home to see my Gracie girl. She was staying with her mom while I was on vacation and I've missed her a lot and I'm probably going to add that in at the end of the video. You know what I mean? I think I'm going to document leaving Disneyland and getting back to Florida. So from California to Florida because my flight leaves tonight. Like I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave from Disneyland to the airport to Orlando. But it looks like we got a train to catch now. And look at that, I'm excited. All right, here we go. We'll be stopping at Portland Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. New Orleans Square Station. I love this but so much. There, we need to pay. Oh, I think we're gonna do the full entire trip around the Disneyland Park, and uh, it's always fun. I like how they have like uh, like jazz music playing when you pull in to New Orleans Square. I can see. Wow, this is beautiful here. Ooh. Oh, the Columbia just shot a cannon at us. Unbelievable. Like on Big Thunder Mountain, where I hear that mysterious spirits have grabbed hold of those mining trains and turned them into the wildest ride in the wilderness. I'm really loving this uh, railroad trip. Look at this. Hi. We get a real nice view of the happiest land of them all, Fantasyland. You can see people stepping onto it's a small world just below us, and off in the distance, majestic Matterhorn Mountains. Look at this. We're underneath the monorail. This is so cool. Look at that. We're on a train and that's a monorail. Watch your children and no flash photography. <laughs>
wish the Walt Disney World Railroad had dinosaurs on theirs. That's pretty amazing. And now we are back to the Main Street Station. Main Street Station. That was such a fun trip on the Disneyland Railroad. Now I think we're gonna continue on and make our way down Main Street USA. Look at this though, as we're making our way down Main Street, the marching band is coming down and Mickey and Minnie are leading the way. I've seen a lot of cool things, but this right here is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. My lord, and it's Corella. What's she doing in this group? <laughs> How awesome was that to see Mickey and Minnie leading the way down Main Street USA? And they were playing Fantasmic and even some of the Haunted Mansion music. I loved it. That was probably one of the highlights of this trip for me right there. Of course, before we start making our way down Main Street, we gotta stop and stare at Walt's apartment right above the fire station. And look, the lights on, that is so cool. That's a bucket list dream of mine right there, to be able to go inside Walt's apartment one day. You know, I'm just gonna say it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, I know it. Now I'm gonna hop aboard the Disneyland Fire Department engine number one and uh, be the driver. Look at this. <laughs> Too cool. How cool was that? Now I get to ring the bell. Oh, just like that. Look at that. <laughs> it's so amusing because I come to this gigantic, world-renowned theme park and I get so excited over train rides, fire trucks, and marching bands. Like, I get so giddy about it, but I love it. Every time I make my way down Main Street USA here in California, it just makes me so happy because there's so much you can do. Like all these stores are real. Like you can walk into them. They have the magic shop. This Main Street cinema actually plays Mickey Mouse cartoons. Like it's all real. And in Orlando, they're just facades or just a long emporium. But I love that everything is special here. Seriously, you could spend a whole entire day just examining all the cool things that are on Main Street USA here. I love it so much. And now that I got a pass and I can come a lot more, like not being my first like big vacation out here, uh, I would definitely want to come back out and make a video just on Main Street USA. I love the Penny Arcade here because of the old time feel it has, the candy and the lights. Look at it in here. Isn't it so like special? Like, huh, totally blows my mind. Esmeralda right out front here. Look at that. And then also all the treats, like, wow. It smells amazing. Look at all this. Oh, is this for the Main Street Electrical Parade? I love it so much. Featured treat of the day is Rocky Road and you can just watch them prepare it right here in front of your eyes. I love it. Oh, look, there's some uh, finished ones over there. Today is the first day for Hyperspace Mountain here at Disneyland, which is a Star Wars overlay to Space Mountain. So I definitely want to check that out since it's my last day and I'm going to be leaving. And I think we're going to make our way over to Tomorrowland now and uh, ride it. Also, I'm starting to think where I want to come and have lunch. I think Plaza Inn is one of the places I'd like to stop. They have a nice fried chicken dinner. You get to sit down, eat, and stare at the castle right here. It's right here in the main hub next to Matterhorn. This would be a good spot, so maybe we might come back here a little bit later on. The 
more I keep thinking about it, the fact that I came this week, it was the perfect week to come to Disneyland. Now we get to ride Hyperspace Mountain, which is a overlay to Space Mountain that's normally not here. We got to ride the original Soarin', Soarin' over California. The Main Street Electrical Parade came back. Disneyland Forever, World of Color. It was like fate. It was the perfect week to come. I am so happy. So we're gonna head right on in. Like, this is so cool. Like, <laughs> I really, really lucked out this week. I still just love this Space Mountain sign. <laughs> In fact, I just love this Space Mountain so much. Come on in, folks, watch your step. There we go. Woo! There's a little Grogu that's coming on Hyperspace Mountain. Look at that. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh boy! Yes, yes! I'm not too sure if you could have seen anything because it was really dark, but it was great. The blasters, it was, I loved it. Hi, friends. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. I'm so happy that I got to do it. It was so much fun. I don't know how much I could put in there because it was a little bit darker. And also the music was like all like Star Wars music, but it made it so much better. But uh, I might get copyrighted with that, but I loved it. It was so cool when you blast into hyperspace and then they had the projections of the different starships on there. It was a really cool, it was a really cool ride. Now I think we're gonna make our way up and head towards It's a Small World. I got a lightning lane for that and I wanna ride it because it's the original and it's the way better version. I'll never get sick of seeing a monorail just drive through the Disneyland park. Isn't that so amazing? I could stop and get excited every Oh, it just hogged its horn! Like I said in the past, I'm not the biggest fan of It's a Small World, except when it comes to the Disneyland version. Wow, look at this, what an interaction. Beautiful. Great job, Mary. <laughs> Disneyland is the only place in the world you can just randomly be walking by and catch Mary Poppins and Alice both dancing to If I Didn't Have You. That was so magical. It was so beautiful. But now we've made it. Here it is. It's a small world. Look at this. Look at this, isn't it so cool? 
Oh, and it also looks like it's 345. One of my all-time favorite movie scenes is in Tomorrowland where they drop down and it's a small world from the World's Fair and it's like a secret lair. That is like such an iconic scene for me. And here we go. Look at that moose. <laughs> also, how cool is it that the ride is outside and indoors? Oh my lord and look at the train. We got a wave. Hi. The happiest cruise that ever sailed. There's Alice and the White Rabbit right there. There's little Cinderella with uh, Gus Gus. It's the Grand Fiesta Tour. Enjoying the vacation, Disneyland USA. And now we're heading back outside. I enjoyed It's a Small World so much. I love the fact that they have all these different characters from the movies in there. I seen Dory, I seen Nemo, I seen Woody. It was really awesome. Oh, and I think there's a parade coming right now. Got a nice little parade and marching band been coming down. Hello everyone. Disney Imagination Campus proudly presents a special guest performance along the parade route. I want to head down to the Plaza Inn and get something to eat, but before that, we need to stop off and say goodbye to a friend. I gotta come see Mr. Toad. There's no way I could leave Disneyland without giving a proper farewell to Mr. Toad himself. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much.
<laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you, Mr. Toad. <laughs> Until next time, Mr. Toad. Now it's time for a little chicken fried. Now it's time to get something to eat. And like I said, I wanted to come to the Plaza Inn and I love this place, look at it. This is a quick service restaurant. It's not sit down, but it looks so fancy, doesn't it? They have a little menu up here. I'll show you guys once we get in there. And uh, it looks like it's got some amazing food. And I'm all excited about the chicken. The fried chicken right here. Yeah, three pieces of chicken fried to golden brown with mashed potatoes, a buttermilk biscuit. Then they got pot roast, penne pasta, glazed salmon, a pineapple glazed salmon. This is all quick service too, right? Like Disneyland is like killing it. When they got a three piece fried chicken for quick service in Disney World. And you just can't beat the location right in front of the castle. Like how cool is that? I love it so much here. Holy moly. It is so beautiful. Wow. Here's the desserts and the salads. Then they got the different stations, the chicken, the pasta. <laughs> yeah. Can I get the chicken? Yes, please, from both. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh yes, biscuit away, thank you. Oh Lord, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. They even pulled out the fancy silverware. Look at that. I can't believe I got all of this food for $18. $18. And now we get to just sit down and enjoy with a view. Look at that. Mind blowing, right? I'm going to dive right on in. I'm going to grab the drumstick and I can't wait to taste it. Like I can, I can see that it is fried amazingly. And they got a little wing on that side too. So it's almost like a four piece. Like, wow. Okay, here we go. That is so good. Wow. I am so happy about my meal right now. Now we gotta try the mashed potatoes or gravy. And look at that gravy, it looks so good. This is exactly what I think theme park food would be like in the 1960s. Like fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, and a biscuit. Like that is amazing, right? You gotta be kidding me. That gravy is so good and it deserves a little biscuit. You can't beat the quick service food here in Disneyland. Like I wouldn't even have to sit down in restaurants. I would literally just eat all quick service every single day I'm here. And you see what I'm talking about? There's a wing in there. So it is kind of like a four piece. I kind of wish I knew about this place before because I mean I knew about it but I wish I came here because I would have eaten it again. Like, Either here or the barbecue, Bengals barbecue, has to be my favorite thing so far, like in the park, like this is so good. You can also get double mashed if you wanted to, but I seen these green beans and I was like, wow, they look too good to actually turn away. So I went with the traditional way. And I definitely need to get my greens in. Like, look at those, oh. It's a green, it's a green, it's a green. When it comes to food, it's not just about the taste. I mean, sometimes things can taste delicious and sometimes things can taste not so good. But if you're eating fried chicken in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle, like it enhances the taste. It enhances the whole entire meal. And even looking at Matterhorn right now and Astro Orbiter, like this is what I'm talking about. Like you can't duplicate this scenario any place in the world except for in Disneyland or in another Disney like theme park and that's why I just love everything.
Like, do you guys know what I mean? Like, give me the worst meal in the world, let me eat it in front of Cinderella Castle, and it's gonna instantly be better. Like, just like that. Now that we've gotten a fried chicken dinner in us, I think it's time we head back and do the Matterhorn bobsleds one last time. Gotta say goodbye to one of my favorite rides here. I've already done Mr. Toad's, so Matterhorn bobsled, you're next. Now this time I'm gonna ask to go on the left side, because that's the one I haven't done yet. So I'm excited. All right, here we go. so much fun the left side is way better but definitely a little bit rougher like it, it really jerks you around a lot but I loved it I thought it was great a Matterhorn is definitely got to be ranking pretty high there with my favorite like theme park rides but now it's time we need to go we need to leave this magical land say goodbye to the castle and start walking down Main Street I am flying out of LAX, so I need to make my way back to the Disneyland Hotel, and I'm gonna Uber from the Disneyland Hotel to LAX, and that takes about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half with traffic. Then I need to be two hours early for my flight, so I've got like a good four hour commute, basically, to uh, catch my flight later on tonight at 11 p.m., and I think I arrive back in Orlando around 6 a.m., so uh, it's gonna be a long night. I'm really gonna miss this place, but at least I got the Magic Kingdom to go home to. Even though Disneyland is, like I said, so special and so magical, I'm so grateful that I get to go home and my home is Walt Disney World. Like, that's so amazing to say, you know what I mean? A lot of people get to, they have to go home and they have to leave Disney in general, but I'm just going to a different Disney park and it's, it's a great feeling. So like, it's really awesome that I get that, I, 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 like I get that opportunity to live this life. One last look down Disneyland Main Street, seeing Sleeping Beauty Castle, and pretty soon, we're gonna be seeing Cinderella Castle. Wow. Hey, how are ya? Looks like my Uber is here, and it's time to say goodbye to the Disneyland Hotel and the teacup couches. One day, I hope to be able to own a teacup couch. Just like that, I am back home with Gracie Girl. Did you miss me? Thank you. <laughs> I had such an amazing vacation. Seriously, California was wonderful. I have an annual pass again. 
uh, well, I have an annual pass now for Disneyland and Disney World, and um, I can't wait to go back. Like, we're definitely going back. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. It's so cool to be able to have these videos, to be able to look back on them, like myself, especially when it comes to so many things that I did for the first time, and I just love being able to share that with you. You know what I mean? And uh, Disney World videos will start up soon again, doing some more food reviews and all that good stuff. Look at her. Anywho's, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I enjoyed making them. I had a great vacation. And uh, we'll see you next time. What was that? Bye.